I am Christopher Kaviri. I finished my MA English Literature in 1983, and I joined uh, the Bachelors of Communication and Journalism in 83, and I finished in 84. Later, left for the United States to finish my PhD in English Literature. I did my PhD in, at Columbia University in New York and finished my PhD in 1989. And then while I was doing my PhD, I was uh, contacted by Time Magazine to work for them. And I enjoyed working for Time Magazine, and I still work for it. Uh, but I left the United States, went to Australia, became a citizen of Australia, and still live there, and also in the United States, and still cover the United States politics for both Time Magazine and the paper that I work for, the Courier Mail in the Brisbane, one of the biggest metropolitan papers in, in Australia. And I do also write for a few other uh, magazines and papers. Um, I write for Toronto Star in Canada. My main area of expertise is international news, and my passion is writing. And I would encourage every, every student who is keen on going into journalism to have good quality of writing. It, it will take you a long, long way. My first and foremost advice to any journalism student is to have integrity. Integrity is tr trust, and trust is, is, is what you build with your audience, with your readers, with your viewers. So once you build that trust, you're on your way to being a good journalist. So my main advice to any student is to have integrity and build up trust with your, or with your readers, audience, and viewers. The landscape of journalism has changed a lot since I joined. When, when I joined the newspapers, we were totally unbiased. The paper, papers encouraged you to write and express your own views, your uh, unbiased views and objective views based on facts and not on any bias. But that landscape has now changed, as you, can, as you may be aware, that uh, these days most papers, newspapers and owned by corporate multinationals take sides and always <clears throat> promote one party or the other or some one person or the other. So don't fall into that trap and always be mindful of your integrity. We, we all have our biases, but as a professional person, always keep to the facts. Facts and truth will always guide you to a better place. So that would be my key advice to any person who is aspiring to be a good journalist. I started as a normal journalist, but later my expertise turned into international news, and my expertise has allowed me to write some opinion pieces, analytical pieces, uh, not only on politics, but even per good personalities. So, and my journalism skills have taken me to all parts of the world, and I am very grateful for these skills that I've obtained at the university. And my other advice would be strive to write good quality language. Whatever language you want to write in, grammar is the foundation of your language. So if you write good quality language and good topics with unbiased and objective truths, you will always be recognized as a good journalist. Um, may not be in one day, but you will eventually be recognized as a very good journalist. So remember to have good sources, don't fall for any traps, and check out your sources always, even if the source is your own mother. The fundamental principle in journalism is check out that the story is correct. Without that, don't just jump for scoops, thinking that you can beat the other news, your competitors, but always try your best to find the truth. If you have the right facts, the story will be strong and you will always be on a very firm ground. And if you establish that, you will always have good audience and your byline will always attract viewers, readers, so remember to have that. My, my advice to you would be to check out all your sources, give the other party to defend themselves, because well-rounded stories should not be uh, viewed from just one side. If you're writing about a person or a, or a topic, you should allow that person to defend or deny or confirm your, your facts. The next thing would be, especially in, in, the, in the contemporary time, most of the corporate media, they take one side or the other, and they slant the news to suit their own owners or benefactors. So that is not really true journalism. Don't fall for that trap. You stick to the facts. Facts are the m most important things in our profession. Don't slant your stories. It is, should not be the, the profession of a journalist to take sides. 
you report the story as is, or you report the event as is, and let the readers or viewers determine for themselves what is right. Don't try to influence them one way or the other. You just look at straight news, all your reporting with facts, and you will definitely go very far in, in this profession. Those of you who want to, want to go into designing a newspaper, always remember, you need to have definite grades in, in your stories, in the design, to attract the eyes of the reader. What is your main story? What is your secondary story? What Grade them that way. And you have attractive pictures, because pictures can stay, say a lot more than words can say. So all those who are de interested in design should need to look at the eye track. The, the eye track research is done by you in Europe. If you want to have a look at it online, uh, uh, Google the eye track research and you will see how best to design your pages and how best to attract the readers to your stories. If some of you are interested in writing long form stories, you, you should write features about personalities, people, places. It will give you a, an idea of how to write long form stories. Uh, I would say it's, it's a great uh, and exciting profession and if you ha make it in this profession, you'll be rewarded handsomely in terms of remuneration. If, you, if you're good at it, uh, happy with, what, with your effort. But if you do not have your heart and soul in it, you may just write a story and say, okay, I've done my, my duty. That, that's not really journalism. So my advice to you is if you really want to be a professional journalist, put your heart and soul into it. Never, ever compromise your integrity. Never compromise on facts, on truth. And once you build up your trust with your viewers, readers, whatever medium you're in, you will quickly realize the contribution that you make to the society. So I, I would say it's one of the most important professions in today's society. I would say, advise you to be always fair when you're dealing with a subject. Be fair to the person that you're writing about. And don't slander the person. And don't ever report on hearsay. Once you all remember your sense of fairness, you will always be a successful journalist. And thank you for giving me this opportunity.